Good evening, guys. Hey, I know I've been talking to you these past couple of days through these videos, but tonight I'm not going to share something with you. Tonight I am going to talk to you. Tonight I am going to speak to you. And tonight I'm going to tell you to stand up. That's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you to stand up. Stop letting the enemy destroy your life. Stop letting him destroy your mind, your body, your spirit, your soul. Stop letting him try to take your family. Stop letting him destroy your marriage. Stop letting him destroy your relationships around you. Stop letting him tear down uh, your, your, your business. Stop letting him defeat you. Listen to me. The only reason that Satan is defeating you is because he has gotten you to believe a lie in your mind. Do you understand? Christ says that you are free. And if Jesus says that you are free, it means 100% free. It doesn't mean kind of free. It doesn't mean maybe you'll be free later. No, it means that you're free right now. You understand? If you have the Holy Spirit, you are free in Christ. Okay? God isn't playing around. You understand? God is not playing around. Okay? And he's tired of the enemy just ruling and reigning in all of our lives. Guys, modern day Christianity is just, it's just, it's just, ugh, it just drives me insane. You know why? It drives me insane because we lack discipleship. And because we lack discipleship, we just walk around as defeated foes, defeated Christians. But let me tell you something. The one who is defeated is the one who doesn't want you to know that he's defeated. So he comes after that port, that part in your mind. The enemy is a defeated foe. The enemy is the one who was destroyed through the cross, through the blood of Christ. He is the one who has already lost. Guys, and we keep running to fear, we keep running to Satan, we keep we keep running to all of these things that he's got us hooked to. We keep running to our addictions, we keep running to all of these things that pacify us just to keep us good. But listen guys, we need to run to Christ, we need to run to God. It says that he is our fortress, he is our stronghold when we are weak. So whenever we are weak, why do we run to fear? We need to run away from fear, we need to run to Christ. Because guess what, we're not going to win no battles by fighting Satan. We're not going to win battles by trying to be, defeat temptation. Oh man, I'm being tempted. I'm just going to not do it. No, you're not. You're going to fail. You know why? Because it's not about you and it's never been about you. It's about Jesus Christ. Okay? You will never have victory in your life if you don't recognize and realize the one who actually has victory and who is the victor he sits upon the throne he's the lord of lords and the king of kings and he is there right now do you understand guys stand up and stop letting the enemy destroy you stop letting him destroy you that's what he wants he wants to steal kill and destroy what god is trying to give you he's trying to take from you everything that god is trying to give you everything he hates you so listen listen to me listen to me Believe what Jesus says about you. I don't care what you've done. I don't care what you've done and I don't care what you've been through. If you're still holding on to those things, then guess what? You're the one who's enslaved. Listen, Christ doesn't care either. He wants you to go through the healing process of it, but then he wants you to recognize that you are free in him. Let it go. Let it go, man. Let it go, whatever it is that is stopping you and hindering you and, 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 and destroying your character and your mind and your heart and your spirit, your soul, whatever's bogging you down, whatever this depression is, stand up and fight. Put on the armor of God. You know why God gives us armor? Have you ever thought about that? Why does God give us armor? Why does he give us the, the helmet of salvation and the breastplate of righteousness, the, the belt of truth, the boots of swiftness? Why does he give us the sword of the spirit and, and uh, the sword of faith and... and, and or, the sword of the spirit and the shield of faith. Why does he give us this? Huh? To just hold it? To just look good in it? No, he gives it to us because he doesn't want us to be Christians. He wants us to be soldiers. Do you understand? He wants us to be soldiers and soldiers fight. But you know what, guys? Here's the thing. We lack discipleship. So all we do is we we look like Christians. It's like when I joined the army or whenever I joined, whenever I joined the Air Force. I got there. They put the uniform on me. I looked like I was in the military. But guess what? I wasn't in the military up here. I didn't have no training. I looked like a soldier, but I wasn't a soldier. I can guarantee you that. I didn't know nothing. I may have looked like it and barely looked like it, but I didn't know anything about what it took. I didn't know nothing about the discipline, the devotion, the dedication, the courage, the bravery. I had no idea the hard work that it was going to take, the truth, the integrity, all of these things that it was going to take. I may have looked Christian, but I wasn't no soldier. Christ wants soldiers. He wants an army. He wants people who are willing to rise up and who are willing to go and defeat the enemy. You want to know why you... Look, guys, you know why, you know why Satan attacks you? 
because he does not want you to know this. He doesn't want you to know this. And the reason he doesn't want you to know this is because he knows that if, if you know that you are free, as free as Christ says it, then this is what will happen. Freed people, free people. Healed people, heal people, and save people, save people. And that's why, that's why Satan doesn't want you to know. That's why he doesn't want you to believe it. That's why he doesn't want you to believe it, guys. But listen, everything about Christ is about trust, belief, faith in him. Listen, guys, if you don't believe that you are who God says you are, then what, what, what's the point, man? What's the point? What is the point of all of this? Christ needs soldiers, guys. We are soldiers, not Christians. We need to fight. We need to stand up. We need to stand up. The difference between a soldier and a guy who looks like a soldier is that the soldier believes he is a soldier. He knows it. In his mind, his heart, his spirit, and his body, he knows. He's been through the training. He's been through all of the, the hurt. He, did, he, he, went, he went through everything that he had to to go through. So when, he, when it's time for graduation day, he knows he's a soldier. Do you know that you're a soldier? Do you know that you're a soldier in God's army? Do you? Do you? Because if you have the Holy Spirit, you are a soldier. Whether you're a prayer soldier, a frontline soldier, a pastor soldier, whatever, a chaplain soldier. Maybe, I mean, whatever God has you doing. Maybe he just has you giving money right now. It doesn't matter. You're a soldier in his army. Stop letting the enemy destroy your life. Stop letting him win. Stop letting him win. Stop letting him win, guys. I'm so tired of seeing the enemy win. I'm so tired of it. I barely see anybody that is that is a soldier. I barely see anybody that, that's fighting the fight for Christ. That's actually actively pursuing and defeating the enemy. Instead, they just keep falling down, crumbling, and letting him defeat them and run all over them. Listen to me. Stand up. Stand up. Satan is a defeated foe. You are already the one who is victorious because the Bible says that you are seated with Christ in the heavenly places, which means you are already victorious. And he doesn't want you to believe and or know these things because if you do, you become powerful. And he does not want to lose. Have a good night, guys. Have a good night.